there. I wonder. All right, getting into game one, I think that, yeah, they picked PS2 because they take, took forever to pick the I song. I mean, obviously he has a game and watch pocket that he's going to pull out at some point. <laughs> Nevertheless, Mr. Rogers against Muffin from Mars in this winner's quarter set. You know, this Lucas, his Luke, Lucas's render in this game looks really nice. It does. It's weird. Like, it, looks, it just looks really well done. But yeah, getting into this match, we got, we got uh, uh, Mr. Rogers. Sorry, I almost called him Kanye. Mr. Rogers versus Muffin right now. Ooh. Wow, just caught his landing Zare with the F-Smash. So Yoshi does have the hitbox to contest stuff like that. Because his, his moves are huge. And they're really quick. He has some of the quickest out of shield options and his and the biggest hitboxes in the game, as you can see right there. Wow. <laughs> Not only the, some of the largest hitboxes in the game, but the best aerial speed in the game. Mm -hmm. Very tricky character. And he's, very, he's really entertaining to watch. Say what you want about fighting him. To watch? He's fun to watch. Certainly. There's so just so many ways he can get some of these stylish kills on you. Whether it's just starting with a down tilt. Ooh, God, it's landing onto the ground. Muffin drifting back, but it wasn't quite enough. That up smash, big enough to catch the drift away. Just the large, large snout coming out to Mr. Rogers' benefit. He's going to take the first stock. Aerial PK fire will get him back. Wanted to go for the second one to actually seal the kill, but just going to have to settle for the F tilt instead. Right, how's Muffin going to take this? Let's him back on stage. Mr. Rogers has the control. He is at the, he is at a higher percent, but at the same time, he's playing like he's playing as if he's not scared. He's very in control of this of this game right now. Muffin trying to catch. Oh, okay, caught him with the up tilt. Mr. Rogers landing on top of Muffin. Yeah, even with the correct DI there, it's going to be a tough ask, especially. Yoshi is deceptively heavy, so he might have been mm -hmm. able to live that with proper DI, but nevertheless, that's going to cost Mr. Rogers his first stock. Right. Still has the lead. Got him with that Zare into grab. Goes for Zare, grabs Zare. Not a ton of damage, but it's a, it's a follow-up. Like the delayed recovery off stage with the Magnet, it's something we've seen a lot more Lucas players do as the meta progresses. And it's just been so developed, and you can really mix up an opponent's timing if they're looking to ledge trap you without actually moving off of the stage themselves. Right. Almost it got rid of the PK Thunder with his own egg. And it's crazy how Yoshi does not have to respect uh, Lucas's Zare as much as other characters because his added shield options are good enough to not, like, it's minus two. So a frame six Nair added shield isn't going to punish it, but if Muffin decides to press a button afterwards that isn't, like, uh, really quick, then Mr. Rogers can get the punish with that Nair after the Zare if it's not spaced. Yeah, thankfully timed that well there because we saw the beginning animation of that up smash from Muffin, but before that can even begin, Mr. Rogers is just going to hit him out of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, caught that Nair after the down tilt with the grab. Dodged that PK freeze. Got him with the landing forward air into jab. True combo. Is he able to extend off of it? Went for the dash type, but gets punished. Back there, not quite going to do it, but I have to imagine that at 106, he's not too far away from getting that kill. He went for the... Point, though. Went for the damage. It's funny, Lucas has a berry off his down throw, but it's like not even a mash berry. It's like a, it's like a, it's not like a berry, you know what I mean? It's not a traditional berry you have to mash out of. It's just like part of the animation. Imagine if Lucas had a berry. I, I, I don't want to live in that world. <laughs> and he gets him with that Zare into grab off the stage. Got him with that back throw. True combo. Off the Zare. You have to watch it because Lucas is one of Luke, Lucas's favorite options off the stage. Is, uh, you know, jump or jump from ledge Zare. It's really quick. It's lagless. Oh, wow. He just runs up and hits him with up smash. He, he just ran he up just and did it. Did it. <laughs> like, that was one of those things where he, he there's two, there's like three possibilities. He either thought he was going to jump. Which, uh, and if he didn't think he was going to jump, either did it because he didn't think he'd shield. Mm -hmm. And the third one is that he just, like, some people just kind of do stuff. And a lot of the time it won't work because if you kind of do things with nothing, like, with nothing founded behind it, it won't. It usually won't connect. But sometimes it does. No, but right enough. there, that was more of a, I don't think he's going to shield this. <laughs> like, I've been playing really, uh, like, I've been playing at a certain range and I haven't really crossed that range for too long. So this time I'm going to cross that range for an extended period of time and throw out a move. <laughs> No, Mr. Kill Rogers move. is a lot more methodical than a lot of people give him credit for. Oh, yeah. And he takes him to... Is this like the... Is this the... This is Find Me. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> for those of you at home, enjoy the Megalovania, mu Megalovania music because we're not able to hear that in our headphones. That's why he picked it. <laughs> he tried to catch his landing with the PK Freeze, but con uh, Mr. Rogers was... Uh, Aware enough to jump away, not land into him. Because, you know, Yoshis love to land into uh, people with, with moves. Like, right there. <laughs> there you go. I mean, 
with the amount of confirms you can get off of Sweet Spot Fair, I, I'd do it too if I was a Yoshi. Oh yeah, and they, like just a lot of damage, the big hitboxes, they're hard to contest, but when you know how to contest them, you know, you can hard punish him for it. The one that's hard to catch is that back air. You have to straight up whiff punish it. It's hard to parry. It's hard to punish at a shield unless you have like a like a frame three at a shield, frame six at a shield, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I mean, Lucas's shield definitely isn't big enough because that will poke if all three hits connect. Right. If he's not at like full, full shield. Right. Got to put that Xander into back air. Not, that looked like no DI, but he didn't die. Not. Got him wow. with a Yoshi Bomber through the platform, though. That's going to be the first stock gone he, in a flash. I like the way he did that. He kind of mixed him up like, oh, you think I'm going to land on top of the platform? Because he gets to choose in this game, if I'm not mistaken, if he lands on the platform with that Yoshi down B or not. When when Lucas's aerials connect sweet spot, they always surprise me without fail. <laughs> I mean, it, they're just like the sound effect and Ex the visual. Exactly. Like, like it, They make their presence felt. Oh, yeah. Went for the up to up smash right there. He thought Kanye was, or excuse me, thought Mr. Rogers was, was going to press a button on the platform. But Mr. Rogers again jumping out. He has not been falling for these, like, easy landing baits. This time goes around the egg, though. And now wanted to go for that spike. Just only caught him with the beginning hit box. But the F smash, not quite going to do it either. So again, we saw the beginning of that up smash, but Mr. Rogers... Whether it he was fortunate or not, just got him before it could even land. I wonder if Yoshi's F smash can two frame. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Got him, almost got him with that PK freeze, but Rogers barely able to air dodge it out of it. Got him with that down B, but he didn't quite kill. But Muffin, I was about to say, he's been on this ledge for so long. Oh no, he's just got put into the egg though. Went for the egg lay once again, but didn't quite get it. Went for an F tilt punish instead. He has no air dodge. Yeah, that's going to be an easy nair. He went deep for it, but again, Yoshi's jump so large, and with the super armor, just nothing he could do to contest right. it. Very solid edge guard there. Right there, once they, they lose their air dodge and you're Yoshi in that situation, a high percent, get him. That's the first thing you're thinking. Get him. Because they, they actually they can't do anything besides like throw out a move. And even, even if they do, it'll trade at best. Like, at best for them. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. There's just an alarm that goes off in Yoshi players' heads. That It's time. It's reaction day. <laughs> For the double dare instead of the fair, he knew, recognized that fair would be too slow to follow up there. He would have likely got reversal if he'd used that move. Yoshi's double jump armor in this game is insane. <laughs> it is, but does catch him with that PK fire as he just returns to the stage. He was on stage. If he was just the slightest bit off, that might have been enough knockback with the scaling, but downer not going to poke. All right, how's Muffin going to secure the stock? Went for the Zare dash attack. He might have just done it too slow. Caught his landing with that up throw. And now it's 1-1 even stocks. Or 1-0 in game count, but 1-1 in stocks. Dash attack got him off stage. One of the fair to finish it all, but now we're going to get another Zare. We haven't seen uh, Muffin from Mars go for a Zare train across the stage. Not really connecting with more than one. You have to be frame perfect. Right. It's very difficult to input. It's also not an insane amount of damage. A lot of the time, it's better to go for one Zare into like a into a, a damage follow up or right. a kill even. But sometimes if they're at zero or like if they're at like thirty and you want them off stage, you do Zare 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 and then into a dash tag at oh, the ledge. Absolutely, as you said, it's a lot better at low percents. Right. This isn't the situation. Actually, for I it. believe the percent on the Zare. I think it might be fixed, but. Uh, it just like the difficulty of inputting multiple ones, but sometimes you want he'll the one of the the reasons he'll drag people to the ledge with the Zare is so that they can kill him with dash attack at the edge. If they're not at that percent, they'll usually opt for a Zare to grab Zare to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what follow ups they have. <laughs> Zare to follow up. Muffin has to find some that's way not a off of these platforms. An even game right now. The Jet gets him off. So Muffin is dropping shield early to a lot of Rogers' pressure. You have to be very mindful of what you can and can't punish versus Yoshi. You need to know your character's out of shield moves. And Lucas' out of shield is, he has that, ooh, is that it? Wow, that is a strong, that move is, again, this never fails to surprise me. Certainly, it's a case, classic case of know thy enemy. Once he saw that Yoshi was just drifting in and out helplessly, and even with the option that he threw out, that F air, just so potent. Right. And he was at like 150. He was at like a pretty high percent or mm -hmm. something like that. But something killing from center stage at 150. Not, I'm not saying it's super good. No, no, no. no. I'm just saying like that's, that's it always surprises me. Unless it's Wolf's back air or something. Something I know is like super mm -hmm. strong. Like Lucas, we don't see him as much. So we don't know that that fair is like, it's like 
the hitbox isn't super reliable because it's hard to time. But the once it hits, it is a reliable kill. Like Yoshi, like you said, he's a sleeper. Like he's not, his weight is, is slept on. You know what I mean? Not mm -hmm. a lot of people expect him to be heavy. He's a bit on the heavier end. And even from center stage at 150, he will die to forward air. And taking it to game three, I actually did not see what stage they picked. It's going to be PS2. It's going to be the Team Galactic battle theme. I mean, it's one step down from Cynthia and Zinnia, but it's still a decent choice. All right, while well, Perry, the second hit of the jab, but did not get a punish off of it. That's something uh, we're going to be seeing people do a lot more as the meta progresses. Like, you know, like three hit moves, two hit moves. They're going to parry the last hit to get a, a quicker, uh, like a, a better punish even. You'll have more time to punish. There's some moves like Bowser's uh, double jab. Jab one, two, it's minus nine on shield. Now, there's some characters that actually can't punish that unless they parry it. I mean, I've already seen significant progress across the board with people punishing multi-hits with parries. Mm -hmm. You saw it right there, and it's just been a lot more consistent. And about that down tilt grab, and Muffin's dominating this first stock. God, dude, Muffin pulling a Kanye. Kanye was doing this, or, or sorry, a Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers doing this earlier in the set versus Muffin catching his drift in. But wow. <laughs> Up smash even got him on top of the platform. No matter how much he wants to go in with some of these approaching eggs. Oh, he got the soft Kanye spike. Kanye letting us know that he's not out of this game yet. Immediately taking that stock. Mr. Rogers with a very unwelcome, unfriendly welcome to the neighborhood there. <laughs> F-Tilt will get him. Did not read the roll inward. Just had that reversed in the wrong direction. But the F-Smash will get him right as he lands. So Muffin's doing a much better job this game of catching Kanye... Catching Mr. Rogers, I'm sorry, drifting in. Uh, drifting in and landing with an aerial. Muffin is dashing back and punishing it almost every single time. Bit of an ill-advised PK freeze on top of the platform, but nevertheless still enjoying a pretty healthy percent lead. As he's trapped on top of the platform, nearly hit his third F smash of the match. Dude, Mr. Rogers is such a momentum-based player. Once he gets that momentum, he makes almost all the right decisions. Got him with that back throw, doesn't quite take the stock. I'm surprised because at like 130, that back throw, like, yo, uh, Lucas's throws are just, they're strong. There's, their sound effects make them seem strong, and the hit, the knockback is really strong, especially with Rage. Mm -hmm. PK Fire gonna get rid of that egg, but do nothing more. This time he goes in with an air. Perry's the first hit, but didn't quite hold shield for the others. If you parry a multi-hit, word of advice, just hold shield. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of it, if you, unless you have a move that can, like, come out before the other multi-hits do. If you parry the beginning hits of the multi-hit. Right, rather. right. Beginning, middle, like, the, the hits that aren't the last hit. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Rogers right now at a ridiculously high percent, but it's pretty much even. Wow, parrying to immediate up tilt. The range even. on that up tilt is enough to take the stock. Yeah, even no more. Yoshi was sitting at 173% after the hit, so on top of the platform, that's not too surprising. Oh, yeah. But. And the up tilt is a, it is a kill option at high percent. It, it kills like 140, 150. Maybe even less with rage. Wow. The reactions on Rogers right now. Up smash out of shield for Mr. Rogers. A bit of a risky option, but down a stock that's. Hey, he reacted, it was a true punish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Goes in with his air, not gonna connect with the dash grab this time and just gets put into the egg. That command grab, the tongue far reaching. Oh, ran off with the immediate fare. Caught him sleeping for a minute. He Mr. let his guard down for a minute, not even an instant. And Rogers capitalizes. Won't you please be my neighbor in that bottom blast zone? <laughs> Mr. Rogers going to be moving on into winner's semis with a excellently timed fair the first time he got the spike off stage. And